How y'all doing today? It's your girl Crochet and I'm back with another video. First things first, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl. Yes, my voice is still on. Yes, I'm still sick. But like I said, when I'm out and about, I feel I feel okay. I feel stuffy and everything, but I still feel okay. But the second I get home and I lay it down, your girl feels sick. Like, call the police. Call somebody. Call me an ambulance. Something's wrong. Like, I feel horrible the second I get home and I lay down and relax. I don't know what it is. The car that parked behind me, I thought I just looked back like that, but... I am right around the corner from my son's school. They just got out, but sometimes his class is late. Usually his freaking class is late, so I'm actually going to wait a couple minutes before I pull around the corner and let them, you know, put him in my car. They have, like, this little service to where, like, you don't have to get out and wait there. Like, some parents, you could just drive up, and they just put your kid in the car. So that's what I'm about to do right now. Other than that, um, I am... I don't know what the heck I want to do. I want a computer, but I have two laptops at home. One's broken, one's, you know, one's fine. I might use the one that's fine, and I need to just find a charger to that, and I think I might go to Best Buy. Or, I'm really thinking about purchasing one, but I really need to know what the heck I'm going to do first. I think I should first, 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 find a charger for my laptop. And see if my laptop can do the trick. If my laptop can do what I needed to do, which is start being more consistent on YouTube, I'm not that consistent due to the fact that I don't have everything I freaking need. And certain things, like when I first started, I was not tagging. I was not um, like tagging my videos. I was not doing thumbnails. I wasn't doing none of that. And I finally downloaded something like a tool that helps me do that. And I've done that for my last few videos, but I haven't done it for my older videos and I have like 170 videos or something like that um so my older videos don't have that and it won't let me view those I can only view a certain amount from my phone versus if I had a computer it would let me see like all of them I don't know if that makes sense also there's something else I want to do but I think I wanted to save that for another video um I am not going on keto okay but I am thinking of a healthier lifestyle. I personally do not want to do keto at all. For one, I will put the link down below. A doctor, personally, they did studies off of 30 years. And people who actually did keto and stuck with keto, like some people was like, this is a lifestyle. I'm doing keto forever. Whoop, whoop, whoop. They, it actually took years off their life. So if you're thinking about doing keto, it's a great way to get um, a diet started, which is what they keep like specifying. It's a great way to start weight loss and then keep up with it from there but to do keto like forever is actually bad for you you need carbs in your body to keep your body going and you actually lose years off your life doing keto forever so i'm not doing keto but i am thinking of healthier lifestyles i've been on keto before so i found out what i really like and what i really like don't like like zucchini fries hate it can't get with it um anything with zucchini zucchini noodles for spaghetti hated it i liked it the other alternative with using cabbage noodles so i found out that i'm in love with um cabbage chicken noodle soup i don't miss the noodles at all literally i do not miss you know the regular flour or the cart whatever pasta i don't miss that at all the cabbage noodle soup is bomb it's bomb and another thing i fell in love with doing keto too was um keto pizza with the chicken crust <laughs> again that is bomb um there was something else i think it was i didn't like it the first day but i feel like the next day after it marinated a while it was um some cabbage what was it cabbage uh chicken alfredo instead of the pasta the first day i ate it i'm just like um it's not my go-to i can eat it but it's not ugh. then the next day when i had it for lunch it was good so it was like i maybe i needed to um let it soak for a while or something let it marinate because it was really good the next day but what i'm now looking for is i'm a potato head i love potatoes i eat potatoes all the time all the time and i want to cut that down that's probably my problem now i eat like three to four potatoes a day I do want to still eat potatoes every now and then. Like I said, I'm not trying to cut off carbs like that. Carbs, you need carbs in your body. You need it. You need it. You don't need a lot of it, but you need it. Um, 
I want to eat a baked potato every now and then, you know. Okay, so I got my rutabaga. Rutabaga. I've never had it before, but I've heard of it before. It's a potato substitute, I guess. It's supposed to give it the texture and all that stuff because I tried zucchini fries and it was just, you know, it was not working for me. So, I'm going to cut this up or I've already washed it. You can see it's already wet. Let me cut that up and I'll be right back. I only cut seven. I'm just trying it out to see if it's going to be good. Um, uh, we'll see. Right now I'm going to use this, uh, what is this, coarse sea salt, a little bit of pepper, and I also have some of this little bit of seasoning salt I'm going to put on it as well. I'm going to put it in the air fryer. As you can see, it's already shiny. I put um, a little bit of olive oil on it already. Let's see if I can get it to taste like real french fries. If so, we got something. Got something to work with because I'm in love with french fries. I'm addicted to french fries. Okay, so they're done overcooked it just a little bit, but you know what? It's okay. We're just going to try this out. Let's try it out. Okay. Let's go for. Let's go for this one, I guess. Not. It's better than zucchini fries, I'll tell you that. The texture is better. Because I'm a texture person. Like me. I like bananas, but I can't eat bananas. Because the texture throws me off. Pudding tastes pretty good too. Texture throws me off, so I can't eat it. I think that's why I don't like zucchini. Because I eat zucchini. And like some of my like fried vegetables and stuff like that. I can eat zucchini, but when it comes to like using it as a spaghetti or a french fry, it just throws it all off. The texture is better, but to me, the rutabaga is kind of, it's kind of sweet. Mm. It reminds me of a sweet potato. I don't know, some people eat sweet potato fries. I kind of don't because it throws me off. I'm just wondering if I could get with it. I think I might just have to, uh. Just eat one potato. Give myself one potato a week. Some days eat french fries. Some days eat a baked potato. I'm like, I don't know. It's not bad. Like, I can eat it. But I don't like being deprived of something. If I'm being deprived from like what I want, then I, like diet be over or lifestyle, whatever, it be over. That's the reason why I can't do keto because it deprives me of too much stuff that I'm in love with. I could cut things down, but I can't cut it off. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not. Mm, it's a better texture and it's even a better flavor, but I'm still not, I'm still one of my potato. So I think I'm just gonna have to cut it down to one potato a week. So one week I'll eat french fries. And then the next week I'll do a potato, not a baked potato, but cutting it off completely, I, I can't, I can't, it's cool. But it's not what I want. It's different. That's just how I feel. Bye, y'all. See y'all in the next one.